Uh, Sean, as our esteemed guest, we're going to let you uh, pick the first film to be debated. And if we think it's bollocks, we're going to tell you. Yeah. yeah cool. I know, I appreciate that. Yeah. I know, so do you I know. know your top five? You got it in your head? I've come prepared, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what are we going for first? Okay, so Ghostbusters. Yeah. Solid. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a great film. And it's The nostalgic. man or the woman one? <laughs> oh, come on, <laughs> bro. Let's... I've gone for Ocean's 8, like. I call, <laughs> <laughs> no, I call that the 2016 one to just be safe. Okay, yeah. To be very so the careful. original one, 1984, one? Ghostbusters. Uh, my mum took me to see Ghostbusters 2 in 1989. And I think that that went back and that had a profound effect. And now my flat is like, it's like this. So you all either have a word stuff. My flat is with Ghostbusters stuff. I'm obsessed. So is that your go that's your number one ever? With that, yeah. Is Stay Puft Marshmallow Man two? No, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man is one. And the painting is two? Yes, Vigo. Oh. Vigo the Carpathian is number two. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Which one's Dan oh, Ashroyd Oh, my God. Fucking hell. Is that a joke? No. She and both. It's in all three. All three. Yeah, he's not in 2016. It's not. No, he is, but oh, not is. as oh. Ray stands. Um, Charlie, Charlie, if Charlie, if if our kid is a boy, Charlie's middle name will be Egon. Fuck off. I will not fuck Seriously. off. I will Charlie fuck what? On. Charlie Egon Walsh. Charlie Egon Adderley Walsh. Her name's Adderley. She's not in Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Egon. Do you think Ghostbusters... What he means, it... Mr. Mayor, is a real wrath of God type stuff. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies, rivers and seas boiling. 40 years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes, the dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Enough, I get your point. So is Ace Ventura the second pair? <laughs> 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 Is that what you're saying? <laughs> but what if you're wrong? If I'm wrong, nothing happens. We go to jail peacefully, quietly. We'll enjoy it. But if I'm right, and we can stop this thing. It sounds good, like. Then you, <laughs> Lenny, would have saved the lives of millions of registered voters. Fuck me, he's going into acting. You've seen the scene in The Devil's Advocate where Al Pacino. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when he loses. Oh, yeah, yeah, See, yeah. It's too, is that 80s? 84. My 80s picks yeah, back to is, the future. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think they have to go up against each other. I don't think you can have both of them in there. I, I, here's I here's my question that. to you. Do you think Ghostbusters is your favourite film or one of the best or both? I, I actually... I actually, I will ju I'll just bore the head off you, but I actually think it's one of the best films. It's certainly one of the best ever comedies. It's a very unique film. There's no film quite like it. The way that America, if you look at, especially American films now with Will Ferrell and, and such like, and those kind of big, those big performances, those kind of, you know, the stoner films, even when they own Wilson and Vince Vaughn films, they're like bigger, kind of big performances. What Ghostbusters did, which is so unique, is just play it. For absolute real, the whole thing is played at real. And they start off, when the script was first given to Ivan Reitman, the director, it was set in space. And they were already Ghostbusters, and it was meant to be John Belushi and Don Dan Aykroyd. And Ivan Reitman looked at the script, he went, no, we, ne we need to believe this. Bring this into the real world. Have them become Ghostbusters. And the way that that journey happens with the characters, you just start off, they're into paranormal activity, and then they become Ghostbusters, step by step and how the jokes are played as real, there's really nothing quite like it. Yeah, and also the special effects that now look mental. When I was a kid and I watched Slimer yes. for the first time, and obviously this is, I probably watched this for the first time when I was like seven, six, seven exactly. years old. It was the most mesmerizing shit you've oh ever seen. Oh my God. There's a fucking green ghost that comes and you're like, oh, is it scary? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. just fucking slimes everyone. I don't think oh. I've ever seen Ghostbusters. Yeah, there's going to be a bit of that in these top five. I think I'm there? getting a confused no, no. with Casper, the friendly ghost. Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, Ray, yeah. Ray Stan, Dan Aykroyd's in that as a Ghostbuster. Okay. Plays a cameo. <laughs> oh yeah, he does. There's a priest comes in, tries to get rid of him. Dan Aykroyd comes in and goes, there's nothing I can do. Or who, who are you going to call somebody else? Yes. And I, and I, and I, I heard that line and I refused to watch Casper ever again. <laughs> so you know how much of me too, Grandad's talk about the war? <laughs> Have you? What, where, where, hang on, where do you stand with Ghostbusters? Uh, I, I watched it once or twice when I was a kid, and I was just like, yeah, yeah. sounds. Ghost in there. 
ghosts yeah. and that. So like it doesn't it doesn't remotely <laughs> compete with anything in my top five for me. Do you know what I've just remembered? And I need to now buy. I need to buy a model of Ecto One. Of course you do. That I want that more than anything I want right now in the world. <laughs> and I want to put it in the yeah, garden like that office. That would DeLorean. For well, me, eighties films, not on Beats Back to the Future. I I it's... just DM not DM'd. I actually wrote it so the public would see it. Jason Reitman, who's I, I'm properly fucking nerding out everyone now. I was, I, everyone's turned off. I'm so sorry. But Jason Reitman is Ivan Reitman's son. And Jason Reitman directed Ghostbusters 3, right? Which was only made a couple of years ago. Yep. And I happened to meet him at the LA Comedy Store a few years ago when it had been announced that he was directing. And I, and I stopped him. And I, I, I was too familiar the way I said Jason. It was like a nutter. I went, J Jason! <laughs> and he turned around like he thought the person knew him. And I went, sorry, I just, uh, I'm, a, I'm a comedian from London. I, I, Ghostbusters means everything to me. And, and I, j I just want to say good luck. And he says, and he said, uh, um, good. I, I, he said, thank you. I, I hope I don't let you down. And I put my hand on his shoulder and I said, you're not going to. Did he? No. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just said, yes, it was awful. No, it, <laughs> he, 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 but but, but he, they're doing number four and it's filming in London. And I messaged him today on the train on the way up here saying, please let me be an extra in that. So oh. for the lids, get on Jason Reitman's we back. Can, we, and, can, we can put some pressure on Jason, Eli. I want to be an extra in Ghostbusters 4. <laughs> please make that happen. I'm going to get Freddie Quinn to talk to him for you. <laughs> And you don't know. Oh, yeah, it'll work. That'll work. <laughs>